She gets like this every time I start filming. Thank you. Welcome to Popular Trite. My name is Nick. Thank you so much for pressing play. This is Elvis Sunday. Today we are taking a look at another request. It's from the 1969 album from Elvis in Memphis. I believe this song was originally recorded in 1947 by Eddie Arnold. I know there's been a series of cover versions since. I think there's been Slim Whitman, Jody Lewis, Glenn Campbell, Dean Martin, and then a certain Elvis Presley. The song is called I'll Hold You In My Heart Until I Can Hold You In My Arms, recorded I think in January 1969, and from what I can gather, this song wasn't even meant to be on the album. There was a point in the studio where Elvis just sat at a piano, started playing, and then everyone else joined in, and then, as always, uh, we get this a lot with Elvis, someone just happened to have the record button pressed while this was happening, and we have, from all accounts, an amazing song. So, without any further ado, I'm keen to hear this. Uh, it will be my first time hearing this. I don't know this song at all. Um, I'm guessing, you know, Memphis is going to have a, it's a blues type song. But yes, indeed, very excited to listen to what's coming up. So let's just do that. Press the thumbs up button if you'd like to help out the channel. It really does help out the channel. Let's YouTube know that you're watching. Let's YouTube know that you're listening and that you might like what we're doing here. So please, yeah, hit the thumbs up. As always, if you don't like what we're doing here, hit the thumbs down button, but make sure you do press it twice, just to be sure. But for now, for now, I'll stop talking. Let's just jump straight in. Elvis Presley sings, I'll hold you in my heart until I can hold you in my arms. I have to keep reading that title before I say it because I know I'm gonna forget it halfway through. I said I hope, I said I hope, Oh, wait. 
Elvis does do so many cover versions or there are so many cover versions uh, recorded because to me it just it it kind of accentuates the fact about how much he just loves music and he's absorbing everything around him that was 1947 when that was originally uh, released and so he would have been 12 you know possibly heard it a little bit later but the fact that he's surrounded by all this music from his childhood and then draws on that and is inspired by that to become what he became or what he has become it's just an amazing thing and the amount of cover versions that we've kind of covered on here already and it's cliched and i know we've said it before but it does make every single one his own and it's weird for me to be saying that having not heard the original, but the fact that Elvis is singing it and Elvis, he makes it undeniably Elvis. You, you know, you hear it and you just, when you hear his version, you feel like no one else can do that. I can't imagine, and I won't go down the road on the channel here, obviously, but I can't imagine what Dean Martin's version would sound like, for example. Jerry Lewis, maybe a small, uh, you know, a bit more of an idea, but it's it's undeniably Elvis just hearing that. And the way the song was playing, it's just this really sort of smooth, bluesy number, and the way it started, just everyone around him joining in, and everyone, that band, just everyone being on the same wavelength. It was just a thing of beauty, a moment of beauty that, again, we were so lucky to have recorded. And, you know, it was recording at the time, those master tapes were recorded and they decided to release it to the public and just as it started it felt so I mean the whole song did feel so very loose and it did feel like a jamming session but we had the first couple of verses where he was singing those lyrics and it was almost didn't feel like he was holding back but it, it felt like a, a loose jamming session and then I had this kind of vibe that the song was going to maybe escalate a little bit and then as the song went on, after he sung about, and I can't remember the lyrics, but the stars in the sky, there was a bit that kicked in where he just cranked it up and his voice just burst into life. And it was really, you could tell by that point that he'd completely consumed that song within him and it was just pouring through and the emotion, the emotion of it and kind of the feeling, the vibe, that the song was giving it just poured out of him at that moment and we got a repeat of that chorus maybe two or three times more and each time it was almost like he was proving himself that little bit further where we got to that stars in the sky moment and then again just roared into life it's just really incredible to listen to and just where it felt so loose and so relaxed for those first couple of verses just that crank up uh, it just completes the song so much and it's so good that they you know they got released to the public in the end we've had plenty of examples as we've been doing these elvis sundays each week of his talent and this song just proves again that elvis was like the epitome of someone an artist who had his own style and if you look 
at the amount of different genres that he sang in, you know, rock and roll, soul, easy listening, blues, clearly I'm missing many, many more. But he could turn his hand to any music style out there and he would give like an A plus performance every single time and every single time he never lost sight of who he was and the artist he was and every single song that you hear no matter what genre what style it is just undeniably Elvis Presley I mean like I said before my childhood was very much filled with having Elvis in the background at a key moments whether it be car rides or just Sunday mornings when or afternoons when parents were preparing well mum predominantly sorry dad was preparing dinner just having Elvis in the background and Elvis around me but doing these Elvis Sundays for the last I've got no concept of time two years I think we've been doing it now perhaps uh, it must be around about two years we've been doing this now doing this every Sunday and having this journey of discovering new songs new music new knowledge in the comment section from you guys at home it's it's really not lost on me just what an incredible artist he was it feels like a, a brand new gift every single sunday so good so 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 good enough of my gushing what did you think did you like this song is this a favorite of yours have you heard it before are there any other songs from that time period you'd like me to listen to or any other songs in general let me know leave those comments down below i do have a long playlist that i will add them to every single week and eventually we will get there but once more i'm going to close up by just saying thank you so much for watching thank you so much for coming here each week thank you so much for joining me for the first time if it is indeed your first time here it's really so appreciated so until next time until next sunday thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video hope you enjoyed that performance and i hope to see you again in seven take care have an amazing week thanks a lot bye bye